Yes, yes, okay, so today we're back for another tutorial and today it is a big one. Tutorial Tuesday is going off because today we are learning the ankle breaker. You lot have asked for it for ages. Every video I think you have asked for the ankle breaker. So here it is, I hope you are ready for it. This is actually the skill that I have in my logo. It's the one that I'm doing right here. So, you know, it's time for you to do it. And once you have learned this skill, what I want, I want you to go and take a crazy picture of you doing the ankle breaker, tag me in it, and I want to see them all over Instagram. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so quickly, I'm just gonna give you a disclaimer. This is the ankle breaker. It is named the ankle breaker for a reason. Lots of great players have been injured doing this move. I do not want you at home getting injured from this move. So please, please, please take every step that I do in this video very seriously. Take your time with it. Do not rush it. You will be able to do it. I taught myself this from watching videos online. So you can definitely do it too. Just please take your time. No injuries here. None of you getting injured. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so that is what the skill looks like. It is an insane one. You'll have seen me use this one a lot. It's probably my favorite skill, I'm not gonna lie. However, you're gonna learn it. The way I actually learned this, I learned this from watching YouTube tutorials back in the day, probably like five years ago. This is what my first ankle breaker looked like. So yeah, I got it down. I got it down after about 30 minutes going through a tutorial. So 30 minutes after this video, hopefully you get it. However, if it takes a bit longer, that is all. I've broken it down into five key steps. Let's get straight into step one. So the first thing you're gonna wanna learn is the trek. Boom. It's this backwards motion where we put the ball behind us and we extend our leg. So my strong foot is my right foot. The weak is my left. With my left foot, I step in front of the ball and I'm gonna go backwards. I'll go diagonal backwards, okay? I'm gonna extend my leg, put it, rest it on my toes. You actually gotta hear this move. First, I touch the ball here like that and then I extend and I'm going to control it on my laces so it's going to be one two one two get comfortable with the trek step one also also now's the best time to do it shout out Randall De Rosario he made this move this is him doing it man he does it clean so if you're ever wondering if your ankle breaker looks right please film your ankle breaker Look at Randall's anchor breaker. That is the exact way to do it. He's an icon. Shout out to him. All of his links in the description. Ball up. Now, step two. What it's going to be, it's going to be jumping trek. I want you to take your strong foot. This is my right foot. I'm going to stand on the right of the ball because it's my right foot. If I was left footed, I'd stand on the left. I'm just going to hop, all right? I'm going to see how high I can hop. And we're going to try and hop the height of the ball, okay? As we land, what we're going to do, we're going to do the trek. The same as doing this, uh, we're just going to do it as we land. We land. You see that I bring my left foot forward. This is very, very, very important, all right? Very important. When you land, this is my weak foot, my left foot. All of my weight goes through my left foot. Here. So look, I can lift this. It doesn't matter. All my weight is here. And this is very important. This is going to reduce injury. So weight here. You see, it's over the front of my body. Very careful that our weak foot will never land on the ball, all right? That's where you get injured. When you're doing this, you don't move the ball and you land on it with all your weight. So that's what we're going to be very careful of, okay? Very, very careful. Don't land on the ball. In order to be safe, we're going to have to be very sure about the angles that we're creating, all right? And what I mean by this, if I'm doing a trek directly out wide, is that safer or not? Well, I would say the best place to do a trek is diagonal back. We do it diagonal back. And this means that when we land, there's no risk. You see that my left foot will go directly over the ball it's never gonna land on it because I'm landing in front of it. So just make sure that you're consistent with where you're putting your trek and that you're aiming your left leg accordingly. I'm not doing it close to each other. I'm doing them very far away. But this is the second step. We're just gonna keep practicing this jumping trek move. When you can do this, then it's time to go to step three. Okay, so step three, this is all about the setup for the ankle break, all right? We're getting there, we're getting close. We've got a safe landing sorted. Now it's about getting ready to do the actual trick. So the way it's famously set up by Randall that I've seen a lot and that I've been inspired by is we're going to do a touch with our weak foot and inside of the foot touch, right? Right here. And we're going to touch it across our body, like so. Then straight away, I'm going to do a roll, a bull roll with my strong foot, like so. So it's just going to be like this. So step one with our weak foot, we're going to touch the ball across our body and then back across ball roll all right and it's going to look a bit like this we're just going to go one two one two that's it this is how i want you to practice it you have to do it very slowly and i want the ball to almost stop from the ball roll so it's fast slow right and this is the key step all right this is what's very important once you do the ball roll put your strong foot in front of it all right so that you see the way it's going it's going this way i'm going to put my strong foot in front of it and i'm going to lift my weak foot This was a fast roll i wouldn't be able to put my strong foot in front of it it wouldn't work you know because it'd be too fast so this has to be a very slow ball roll one two 
plant your foot. The next step, this is step four, it's very important. In an ankle breaker, it is not just a landing motion. I always see videos of people going like this. That's a trek, that is a trek. It's not an ankle breaker, it's just a, we don't want you doing this. That's not what we do. It's a good practice move. If you feel comfortable with this and you just want to get used to the setup, I definitely recommend it. So it's a good little, just make sure that you're getting your feet in the right place, that your landing is safe and that your weight is going through your weak foot and it's not in the, you're not done yet. This is not an anchor breaker. The next step, step four. So step four is actually working on the forward motion of the anchor break. In an anchor break, as you hop up to do the trick, you don't just hop like we're doing a trek and then land, we actually touch the ball forwards as we do it. So what I mean by this, if you watch this part of my foot, as I hop up, the ball is gonna move forwards and then as I land, it's gonna go back to a trek. I hop up, forwards, back. That is an ankle break. So now in step four, we're gonna be working on this motion. So you can get used to this with it on the floor. This is what I recommend for everything. Do it on the floor before you're doing it hop. We're gonna have our weak foot near the ball, strong foot ready to touch it forward. A little movement. We're just gonna get some control here. You can get some control just by, by rolling it. But you always want to get used to it slowly, okay? Every skill we're doing, we're trying to do slowly so that when we do it properly and we do it all together, it's going to be smooth. It's not all about speed. Speed comes with time. I'm going to kind of hop and land in a trek. So forwards, back. You see that I've done a little hop with my weak foot going forwards. This means that I can just... This is what I'm going to do in the air as an ankle breaker, just like this. And it's very safe. There's no weight. Forwards, hop, backwards trek. So we're just going to practice this drill. But we're going to really fully extend. So forwards, back. We're going to imagine it's ankle breaker. So it's got this... Da -da, boom, da -da, boom, all right? Put it out wide, I'm gonna have our weight there. And our weight's going through my weak foot. Now it's time for a pro tip, because in step five, all we're gonna do is piece all of these moves together. You can see here, I have a line. This line is super effective, and it's gonna be very important. If you can find the line, it will help you out. Why will it help you out? When you do an ankle breaker, one of the common misconceptions and a problem that I had when I first learned it, is that I always kept my shoulders forward. This meant my ankle breaker looked a bit like this. Which one, I can't see. So it's not very useful. Two, it looks ugly. Three, I'd say it's kind of wrong. No worries if you're doing this though, because I did this for a long time and I've changed. What I'm gonna do with the line, so say you're facing forward, the first part of the jump, you should turn your body and you should do it towards the line. What I mean by this is, we're not gonna move the ball forwards like this and then trek back. We're gonna move it out wide and we're gonna trek back across the line. Here, so we're gonna be forwards and then we're gonna trek backwards. This is the difference between a clean ankle breaker and a not clean one in my opinion. So, now it's gonna be time for the fifth and final step. <laughs> What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the touch roll together. We're gonna plant our foot, we're gonna lift our weight, we're gonna hop, we're gonna move the ball forwards, and then we're gonna trek with the landing and we're gonna trek so that our, all our weight is on our weak foot and it is not near the ball, all right? What we're gonna do, we're gonna be on a line to practice. So we're gonna use this line, it's gonna be very, very important and useful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the first touch. When I do the first touch with the inside of my weak foot, it's gonna go slightly backwards, all right? It's gonna go slightly backwards. And then the aim is that with my roll, roll, roll with my strong foot, it's gonna come across the line, all right, like this. That's the aim. We're gonna try and practice for it to be there. So it's gonna be one, two, like this. You see that I'm facing forwards. What I want is to turn and go like this, all right? So I want to turn into the ball and trek that way. It's just gonna be a bit of repetition, but it's all about focusing. Ball on the line, plant your foot, plant it here. This is where I turn. So the top half of my body will turn. I'm gonna push it down the line. I'm gonna land back on the line. And you'll notice that my legs are very safe right now. They're very safe because my weak foot is never going near the ball. So in this replay, just watch where my weak foot is, watch where the ball is, and you see it's never close. One thing you'll notice as well is I always do the claw hand. I don't know what that's about, it's the focusing hand. If you have a claw hand, don't worry about it, it's all cool. <laughs> it's probably for good luck. You can do an ankle breaker very fast, like this. For me, it's nice, but the best way to do it, you wanna get that hang time. You wanna get that image where it looks like you're on your tiptoes. Here's a pro tip, when you're pushing the ball forwards, like so. You want to get all the way up onto the tip of your toe. This is the way Randall does it and it is insane. So for me, I think it's the best if you can try and create that hang time. You know, and you, you get really high on the ball. We're not going to have our foot on the ball and then hop. Sometimes I see people do it kind of reverse. Um, this is a move in itself to go like this. That's a move, however it's not an ankle break. I don't even know what the name of that move is. I like it, I use it quite a bit, but it's not an ankle break. I'll be completely honest with you, I practice this move in my kitchen. This is probably the least street place you can ever learn an ankle breaker. However, when I was in the kitchen, I had the, you know, the side counter, so I, I had my hands on it, 
and I practiced and I held myself up. So I knew I was very, very safe. Take whatever precautions you want. This is a dangerous trick and I don't want any of you getting injured. So please take your time with it. Be very aware, do not rush it. This move does not have to come quickly. I said I did it in about half an hour and I did. However, I'd been practicing street football for every day for about six months at this point. So I had good ball control. I could already do this. I could already do this. And I could already do this. Doesn't matter how long it takes you, make sure you're safe and make sure you get it down right. And I want to see you do some crazy photos. Now, next what we're going to do, we're going to get on some ankle breaker variations just to show you quickly what you could potentially do in the future. Let's get it. Okay, so one big variation that I like is like Sufi and Benkov style. We're gonna do the ankle breaker, but instead of landing in a trek, we're actually gonna land in a side. So it looks a bit like this. And you can do it like that, or you can just go forwards. So I like this move. One of the moves that I don't know if I made it, maybe I did, I use it a lot. It's like this, it's gonna be around the ball, and then we're gonna ankle breaker it as it lands. So it'll be. This is kind of questionable if it's an ankle breaker because partly we're touching the ball and then hopping, but this is another variation. Uh, so if you're feeling creative, you can use flick ups like this. So just to put it into a combo, the last two would look like this. Ooh. So there's a little ankle breaker variation combo for you. Okay, okay, so that is it for today's tutorial Tuesday. That is the ankle breaker tick. Now you have everything you need to be able to learn it. If you've learned something here, please smash that like button. I really hope it has helped. I've tried my best to make this the most in-depth ankle breaker tutorial that there is. So if you found it helpful, please, please, please share it with a friend. I want all of you, all of your friends as well to become absolute ballers. And also don't forget to subscribe. Every Tuesday I'm teaching you my skills. So I'm really trying to help you become the best ballers you can be and the most skillful. And of course, do not forget to hit that bell because there are insane videos coming out every Sunday, every Tuesday. And who knows, there might be ones coming out every Friday as well eventually. But let me know if you want that. Let me know if you want videos on Fridays. There'll be a little hold. Also, once again, shout out to Randall De Rosario. What a baller he is. If you want any inspiration for ankle breakers, what they look like, please head over to his pages in the description. Legend of the game. Big inspiration to me. Also, in the end card, there's going to be a little panel match and hopefully I'm going to try my best to uh, get a panel with an ankle breaker. Might be possible, might not. I think I've done it before. Uh, anyway, stick around for that. Let's go. Cool.